Step by step, they're getting closer. And we said about the aggression, we said what they want to do, the nade, it's good. Oh, oh he gets my one! God, what? Esther, what a nade! But can he do any more? Surely not, surely. This is all on it's OMG. There's another one on the other back line. It's but now, wait. It was a four versus one, and now it's a one versus two. There is still potential here. What can he do in this situation? Can he somehow pull this out? The odds are against him by no small feat. He's going to confirm the kill. If he can, he's going to make it worse. He does not quite get the kill. We'll be seeing them now go down. It is down to a 1v2. Silent and Lion hold the circle. They have it. Esther needs to move. He's got a flash in hand. He's going to make the last stand. He's into history here. It's time. All those late nights, all the doubts, all the thousands of hours they've been pouring in lead up to these games. And now we're underway. Richard, we're going to go for a very different approach here. It's south to north. It's the long old southeast to northwest. It's complete polar opposite to what was previous <laughs> one, Mike. Came in from Zaki, ended Milton. Now, excuse me, Milton. Now it's starting Milton. Back it's over. ending Zaki. So, in theory, everyone can do the same as before. Everyone go to their theory. own spots. You'll potentially see Navi arriving late to Primorsk. Yep. You'll see Liquid going up to Yasnaya. You'll see Savage over at Milton Power. Yep. Gold, Novo, 4 a.m., Milton Base. Now, this is something we need to really quickly touch on mm. um, when we look at 4 a.m. Sometimes you see teams getting a bit caught off guard making their way from Millie Base, for example. Yes. You've got to remember how kind of com compound that circle was to get alive with four men. Very good. Through it, it's pretty decent. Now, again, though, this is slightly different in the aspect of the way 4AM are approaching this. Last time around, they, they didn't have this sort of route here. They got almost caught off by gold on the bridge. That could have been the first kill, but they survived. And they survived well. Let's get a little look at what ghosts are up to. This was the team, of course, to win round one. Now, they're off here sign this one out. So there brings a smile to my face. And oh, no, Mossy, run, boy, run. They're after you. This is terrible. It's always oh, back up a right, but it's too little too late. He's been mowed down, taken out, and made in Thailand. I've done something terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, double teaming with the car. I mean, so, quote, 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 major tournaments, right? Let's say you watch the bigger tournaments. You catch maybe a couple of games. But last time around, you'd be seeing double ARs. That's not the case anymore. It's way more dependent on that range coming through and those DMRs and those snipers. So they're in the same bag of why you will see a lot of people using the Uzi. I don't know if you, you know, you, you guys at home might have been watching, but in the previous rounds, a lot of people will now opt to use the SMGs simply because of the damage multipliers. It's the same with the DMRs. The damage multiplier now on the head, it's ridiculous. You just, you want the DMRs. You want people running these at range. You want to keep your ARs for close range. And now your SMGs as well, 120% damage on limbs. You can literally just spray like a bad man up close and personal, and you will do so much damage. See, now, his name. He stays alive for now, but he's being pinched. Look on the horizon, look on the hillside. It's Miraku. It's not a monster, but he might be doing somewhat of a similar thing, scaring the life out of this man. Cowering in the corner here. His teammates are not nearby, but he gets a punish on Larson. This could be a disaster. Vard, nade out though. Can he survive on this one? Dies now, needs to make his mind up. That nade is going to trickle in and... What? He's somehow alive here. Dies. Lives to fight another day. Spots what? out the player. Spins around. Can't do it. Vard is there. As WTSG to stay alive. I think he was saved by the sink. I'm, I'm quite impressed by that one. Gold plated. I don't know. Either way, he's dead. He didn't get out of that one alive. Touch a little bit more on what you mentioned over the uh, the UMPs. It's it's a completely what very, very, speaking to some of the cast in the back, super, super aggressive individual. Big shot caller for this one. Does some wild and wonderful stuff. Loves a good old frag. His teammates are quite split. He's only got Grammatic behind him on the hillside. The rest of Genji Black in the form of Yuru and Esther, they're over in the hospital side, but they're quite split. You speak about veterans, Yunru, Sexy Pick. These guys, we've seen them from the very early days. Gamescom. Yeah. I mean, you throw your minds back. If you're a veteran of PUBG, you watched it from the very start of things, you'll know who these guys are. You might be going, why do I know that name? And that's why. These guys play a hell of a lot, and they're a very good side. They were very early to it, and they really put up the numbers. Now, let's keep our minds focused on this map as well. That next circle that comes in could push a couple of teams out of nice positions. Liquid is still alive. They're still fine. You can see them kind of keeping control of that. And, oh, this is a fun one. Here we go. Over towards the west it heads. Everyone, get in your cars. Get driving. Get those compounds on that western side, on that western coast, and try and stay every day of the week. Whoever made that change... You're my new favorite human being. McCoy's had enough of that. He's actually in the, you know, a little bit of a river there. Little Dipino, though, spots out one. The fire comes in, and the CIS team, or should I say player, 
not in a good spot here. He struggled last time, and everyone's scrambling for cover. They're scrambling for any position here. There's a lot of room to be moving around here in these fields, and you're seeing teams getting picked up, and actually a couple of them going down early. Yeah, that's two from AHQ, K3 and Winner, which would suggest the bike has gone flying. Winner's been finished off. Crest Gaming come in. Cheyenne says thank you very much for the 15 points. Looking for further afield. 76 players alive, but here comes what we were talking about before. Profit onto Grizzly, the DP. K3 gets finished off again. Wincrest, another 15 points for them. I like how the, you know, attention to detail, just lining all those vehicles up in a very nice way. So to speak. Um, the Knights are going to obviously eject from that one simply because they lost Kremis earlier on. They're already tanked up. I mean, look at his gear, budget helmet on the back, UMP on the front. It's not massively great. I mean, you can still take a fight. Navi, on the other hand, I have seen them go for a crit. So one of those Navi players is tanked up in level threes and does have a big boy gun. What that big boy gun is, I do not know. You'll hear it if it kicks up in the background. Meanwhile, Miraku, top feet, takes out Pino. The knock is there. Finally, standing the ground for all this time. Genji Black, Grammatic knocks and finish Ares. They do find the Crest Gaming play that has been lurking on this mountain side. Now, they won't know if there's any more. So the alert gauges are on. Oh, boys, there could be a team in. That's why they're so fixated and focused directly in front of them. They have to be careful that nobody creeps up behind on the mountain. You wouldn't have thought they would do because of where they are. They can see everything, but they're going to be I fixated have a lot of teams now. Kind of, I, I guess, posturing, vying for a bit of you know control and positioning. Liquid could be caught out if they're not too careful of what's behind them. There's a lot of car 98s there I'm seeing, so they need to be on a bit of a swivel. If Scoom's not aware of this, he could be caught in the back line. So keep your eyes on that kill feed. They've turned around. They do have connections going on towards the north side. So. Refund could be in a bit of a predicament now. Not only do they have the blue on their back, but they've got Liquid in front of things. Liquid could be pinched here. WTSG are actually keeping tabs on this too. Now the next circle comes through that, hits a little bit further towards the south and drastically towards the west. Every team in the east is getting a move on now. Liquid might be in trouble here, but it's actually the CIS region clashing horns. Just to get picked up in the end by Vard. That did find him. Jeans is going to be suffering off the back of that. You can see the control on these shots coming through and the confirmation is theirs. Now Liquid continue to run the ball. It will be another victim for Vard. Or will they make it through? But oh, look at this. There's so much going on. Made in Thailand. Can they stay alive? Surely not. They just got completely left upon. But actually, Svit turns it around. Morphite's on the top of the hill. He needs to try and help his teammates out here. Savage also have eyes on this one. Look at that kill feed. Bodies hitting the floor, left, right, and center. They've only lost one. Myth have done quite well here, not to have been penalized any more than they have. Eba from Mominu. Mominu onto Poker Molodoy. Two players there, and Navi Drin is a Molodoy answer back at least. Gaxi onto Meow. Try and keep up with this one. Savage takes out Mortify. We've just lost three teams back to back to back in the last 10 seconds. This is what happens when so many people stay alive in TPP and these circles just pretty much force Look at WTSG, Rich. They are hungry for this. They know it's liquid as well. They want this one. Look at Larson. Look at these guys. Look at Miraku. Vard is finding more victims, but he's out of ammo. Feels bad, man. What has he got? He's got a bit of 5-5 five five there, so he's okay. He's still got something to work with, but he's got to move as well. He was sticking around for quite some time. Hopefully, he's got a car or something to work with. He's fine. He's got a little bit of a bike to jump on. But Gaxi and the other side for his team are well up for this fight, but they can't overextend. They cannot tunnel vision here. There's plenty of teams looking hungry. And one they haven't spoken about who's been a little bit under the radar so far is Ghost in this round, at least. They're still sitting pretty. They're okay, but someone who might not be is Wick. Oh, Ragnar, how is he alive? I have no idea, but two of them again. Third party system, Myth with the 24. What is happening here, Savage? Took the grenade, he took out his own teammate, but he also at least managed to finish off two others before he did. What is going on? This is a massacre over here. And this fire from afar, if it couldn't get any worse, you're going to see the likes of Chiefs trying to steal a couple of kills here or there. Get something in their pocket for the trouble that's going on. Timid, living up to the name, trying to cower away behind the smoke and hope for the best. Maybe he can get saved from this, but for now, Wick is just trying to catch his breath. What on earth just happened? I have no idea how he's alive, but fair play to the man. What's a bigger issue is the utility they're working with. I'm seeing no chest, I'm seeing no helmet. I'm seeing Gaxi who's literally just... Gaxi, taking. 4 a.m. We know these guys are aggressive, Rich. We know how much they want to go for these fights. Oh, the nade just about doesn't make it through. That's Gaxi, he gets down one though. He's keeping himself alive in this, but the push comes through. And what? He goes down. How is Gaxi alive here? How on earth did that happen? Vard saved him? Where on earth is Vard in all of this? Gaxi is looking like the tastiest bit of bait I've ever seen right now, and God B oh, might be a little bit worried here because Gaxi, he fancies doing it back to the need. It was so close, but Gaxi wants to confirm this kill. He wants those points, and he wants to ensure these guys do not pest them any longer. What a fantastic effort. Oh, 
god, Gangsy's on the run, so is god V. That is going to be in the kill feed any second now. One of those two is going to be meeting up here. OMG keeping Ghost under pressure, not allowing them to rest on their laurels in the field. There's still 17 teams alive here, still 50 players. Even if Gaxi doesn't survive, how much damage does he just do to 4AM? Players from OMG find them. Talk about commitment. CGW here tried to bail on the vehicles, and they've been punished. They've lost one, and all of a sudden, Vox says, well, you know what, we can hear some oh, that's a going shot. up here. I'll take your helmet while you're trying to res him. Not a problem. Commits with a kill. 15 points in the bag. Knights doing very well for themselves here. Voxic even fancies some more. He's spotted out another player. Why not make it harder for Ghost? That's a big name to claim. Great to show you how accurate these guys can be, even at such range. Eight times just sitting up on that mini. But at the moment, we do see that Honey Bandage Honey badges have gone down. Wick's been found. They, these guys have been struggling a little bit here, but actually that's Island, an eight and a half. AKA Myth, and they're getting aggressive on it. They oh fancy it. The walking wounded God. three down. One player left. Can they find that lone range of those? Could be two of them. Edge has got a shotgun. Six, eight, six in the bag. It's good up close and personal, but I don't think he'll get the time to do it. He's healing. He still has to heal Edge. Oh, he's gone. 13th position. A little bit unfortunate. Got caught off guard from across the way. Genji Black have just been causing like. Let's look at who's in a good position here, Richard. Let's see who's holding those strongholds. Who's got their fortress up high? A couple of nades, though. WTSG again kept on notice. They are not getting. That one's looking a little bit worried for Miraku. Got to be careful. And they're going to be trying to build any sort of barrier between each other. They're trying to keep themselves at range. Now, the strongholds who will be in the back of their minds right now, it will be Na'Vi, good positioning. OMG. Nine teams up, 23 in this circle. It's going to be brutal. Oh, this is. This is a little scary. This makes you sick to your stomach to watch this one unfold. The Alicia's, but he can't get it done in time. It's traded. That's only a one for one. That is nowhere near good enough right now. And Mayhem kicks off. His teammate tries to help, but unfortunately, they're going to be nailed as well. Ninth place there for AHQ. Ibi, what can he do? He's been spotted. Eska sees him. See you later, Liquid. Eighth place for you. Na'Vi's still in such a stronghold, and they still are. Let's look at that new circle. You've got two teams, and that's it. Currently sat pretty. One of the two teams towards the south are the only ones who can claim this, and maybe one can make it through the killing fields right now. Eska has been playing very well for his team. We know that he can be a big player, but Miraku is doing just the same for WTSG, or what's left of them. He's the only man standing for these guys. They got torn to shreds trying to take that radio hill. Versus for engagement. Trying to clip them through the back lines. Now we have got them pinned Wait, in. Wait, silent! Look at this play. He's going on his own. He sees one, but he does he expect the second. He doesn't see the second just yet. Mr. Yoppy on the side. He does find him, but there's OMG coming around with the support. Great play from OMG. Aggressive as you'd expect. That's what you want from that team. But can they stay alive? Can they then take on Na'Vi and expect every other team who's coming their way? This is how it breaks down, though. What is Gold going to do? Genji Wait, Black Na'Vi? has to... Yes, Na'Vi has sat on this edge there. They could get boxed in by two teams. Genji Gold just rushing in. They fancy a go on this. Trainees goes down. Another one follows. They've only lost Eska so far. They want a piece of this. They're getting stuck in. Ilam's all tanked up at the back as well, and so is Molodoy. This has just gone from bad to worst. All of a sudden, OMG is stepping up to the plate. Oh my god, Na'Vi are in trouble. They are sweating bullets right now. You can see the pressure, OMG, are just eyeing this up. And the nade, what, he blew up the car? He hit the car. That's so smart from the remaining Na'Vi players. Eileen does get found in the end. Molodoy is the only man standing, and not for long. Surely that's Na'Vi done for now. OMG still stand with four players. Now let's look who remains. We've got three teams standing. OMG in a good spot. We have Genji Black, and somehow, Miraku is in the back lines. He needs to just hold on for his dear life and try and get as many points as he can in placement. If he can make it into second and hopefully these two teams just batter the hell out of each other, then great plays for WTSG. Genji Black, five kills in the bag. They're inside the circle, but so are OMG on the opposing side. Two split but they're off not. The, the thing is, they're not in the greatest of positions either. If you look at OMG, they can get this guy. Actually, Miraku decides to give it up, take the points away from them. Now, OMG need to move forward. There's a little bit of a death lead they can move to, but right now, you've got to look at the positions that are currently being had. OMG are being more proactive. And pure shots coming through in the car, they go. Genji Black are making mad run for this. They're going to try and do what they can, but OMG still hold the line. You it's down to one. Forward. Yes, Esther. It's the last man standing in a 1v4. They are pushing on that position. OMG want this, and they want it bad. And they're not going to stop before they have it. Esther is there. He heals up. He's desperate to try and hold on here. But he knows step by step they're getting closer. And we said about the aggression. We said what they want to do. The nade, it's good. Oh, oh he gets my one. God, what? Esther, what a nade. But can he do any more? Surely not. Surely 
This is all on it's OMG. Another one out on the other back line. It's but now, wait. It was a four versus one, and now it's a one versus two. There is still potential here. What can he do in this situation? Can he somehow pull this out? The odds are against him by no small feat. He's going to confirm the kill. If he can, he's going to make it worse. He does not quite get the kill. We'll be seeing them now go down. It is down to a 1v2. Silent and Lion hold the circle. They have it. Ether needs to move. He's got a flash in hand. He's going to make the last stand. He's going to make the mad run through now. 4-1-6. He tries as he can, but it's OMG to pick up game number two. And the crowd goes wild. China's favorites secure a win in round number two, and they do it with proficiency. They did have four remaining. Unfortunately, it was taken down to two. Good work from Genji Black to at least secure 30, Very good. 30 extra points at the end in a one versus four. That's banging to at least claim some extra points. Absolutely. I feel so, so sorry for Na'Vi. They had crate gear. They were sat for so long. But the fight between Gold and OMG, it just collapsed on them, and they were just wiped from the face of the planet. All right, fourth place is good, but it could have been so much.